Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick follow-up to the previous video showing how to achieve the same scheme but without using an airbrush or any enamel or oil paints. I understand not everyone has an airbrush or wants to use enamels. They can be tricky if you've not used them before and I want to try and make everything on this channel as accessible as possible. First though, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who watched the first video I put up and to everyone who subscribed. The channel hit a thousand subscribers in eight days and at the time of recording this, that video has been viewed 26,000 times. I'm completely overwhelmed and so grateful to everyone that made that happen. Thank you. The first step is the same as the previous method. Black primer and then hit from above with wraith bone from a spray can. Using a spray can is a lot faster than the airbrush for this job, especially if you're doing a large number of models all at once. The first thing I did was to apply Griff Hound Orange again, following the same idea as before. Putting it on the face, the joints and the tail and creating stripes over the model. I used a small layer brush for this instead of the airbrush and then while the paint was still wet, I cleaned my brush with water and removed the excess water on some paper towel and then used the still damp brush to feather out the orange paint towards the white areas to try and create a natural looking blend. I went around the whole model like this, applying the paint in small areas so it didn't have time to dry before going back in and pulling the paint away with the wet brush. This is how it looked when it was all dry. The orange is blended into the white flesh areas and there's no hard edges between the colours. This worked well, but it's definitely a slower process than using the airbrush. But if you don't have access to one, this is a great alternative method. Next, I added the Black Legion to the carapace and the claws and to the tongue, making sure not to miss any little details. The next two steps were exactly the same as the previous video. I heavily sponged on Corvus Black to add some interest and texture to all the black areas, followed by a light dry brush using Eschen Grey. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost the footage of me dry brushing the grey on, but this is how it looked after that step. All the edges are picked out and more of the detail is showing. Also, during this step, sponging on the Corvus Black, I made sure to get a little bit of that paint to spill over onto the orange parts of the flesh next to the black. This helped to tie the two areas together and break up the hard edges, giving a more organic look. Next, I added some white. In the previous video, I used some white ink through an airbrush, but as I was avoiding using it this time, I used some white scar on a sponge, removing most of the paint on some paper towel before stippling this on along the center of the back and the head. I also rubbed the sponge across these areas to catch the edges, almost like using a dry brush. Next, I used a brush to apply a thin layer of athematic blue contrast paint across all of the white I'd added in the previous step. I waited for this to dry before applying a second thin coat. I then used a small layer brush to add more of the blue around certain areas of the model, mainly around the eyes and the back of the head and around areas where the carapace and the flesh meet and where the claws join. Here's how it looked when this was done and everything was dry. There's a nice blue tint that contrasts really well with the orange. I then used some Uriel Yellow to pick up both of the eyes and then went back to the Wraith Bone to paint in the teeth. I then made a quick 50-50 mix of both these paints and added a dot highlight to the eyes. This was the tricky bit, working out a good alternative for using streaking grime. I did a few tests with different paints and this was the best one, almost indistinguishable once it was dry. I made a 50-50 mix of Contrast Medium and Gorgax Sewer Contrast Paint. I put this on using a medium shade brush and using a similar method that I used to the orange, use a wet, clean brush to wipe away the excess from the raised areas. I had to go back and redo the eyes and the teeth as I found this mix dulled the colour a little bit too much. It's not an essential step, but I think this helped make it pop a little bit more. I suggest if you're painting an army using this scheme to make a big pot of this wash to keep everything looking consistent and to speed things up so you're not having to keep making it over and over again. I went around the whole model like this, adding the contrast paint in small areas at a time and using a damp clean brush just to wick away the paint from the raised areas and allowing it to settle into the recesses. I left it to dry for about an hour and this is the result. It takes a little longer than the first method but it looks almost exactly the same and will be perfect if you don't have access to either an airbrush or to enamels. I really hope this has been helpful and thanks again to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and thanks very much for watching. See you all soon.